Hi, I'm Roger Grimes. I'm the Data Driven Defense Evangelist for Know Before. And for Cybersecurity Awareness Month, I want to talk about multi factor authentication, MFA uh, in particular. It's a, a subject that I focused on for a lot of years. I wrote a book called Hacking Multi Factor Authentication. I, wrote a, I, I teach a webinar called The 12 Ways to Hack Multi Factor Authentication. You can go to uh, knowbefore.com forward slash MFA and see that webinar. It's been the most watched webinar uh, of any that I've made in my 34 years of doing cybersecurity. Uh, and at Know Before, we have a really great a collection of uh, things about MFA, how to hack MFA, what you should do to protect yourself when using MFA. If you want to go see that, we've got an entire portal dedicated to multi-factor authentication. Go to noble4.com forward slash multi-factor-authentication. And that's a nice portal dedicated, lots of content I've made. But I also like to tell people that if you're going to use MFA, and you should use MFA where you can to protect valuable sites and services and data, you should try to use uh, phishing resistant MFA because the vast majority of MFA, 90, 95% of it is easily hackable. Uh, and the US government has said since 2017 not to use easily fishable MFA. Uh, President Biden and, and executive orders in 2021 and 2022 said don't use easily fishable MFA. Uh, so you shouldn't. Uh, and, and people say, well, what is easily fishable MFA? Is that MFA where you get sent a code? Maybe you get sent a code on your phone that says, you know, put in these four or six digits. That's considered easily fishable. Uh, Push-based authentication, fairly easily fishable. Uh, SMS-based uh, uh, MFA, easily fishable. And, and you shouldn't use it. You should try to use phishing-resistant MFA wherever you can because uh, it's a lot of work and effort to go from a login name and password to MFA, and if it's easily fishable and just as easy to steal as it would be to a password, well, why did you go to all the effort, time, and money, <laughs> you know? So try to use phishing-resistant MFA where you can, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my videos, watch, go to watch my webinar at knowbefore.com forward slash MFA, or go to the website, uh, knowbefore.com forward slash multi dash factor dash authentication and you'll find out all about it with that said everything everybody uh, continue to fight the good fights against hackers and malware and i'll see you next time